Now, there's something about human health that many people don't know. I want to just make a brief capture to that. What is it? Whatever you focus your attention to is what your body reacts to. Amen. Somebody was looking at me one day. I decided to just uh, to, to check my, my blood, blood pressure. And he checked the blood pressure. And the blood pressure was reading 115 over 79 by 60. And he said, ah, why is your blood pressure like that of a little baby? Why is your blood pressure, you, you're supposed to be having high BP. Because of all the stress and all of this, I say, yes, I'm supposed to have it, but I choose not to have it. Why? Because I have allowed everything that is happening in my world to be on Christ so that I can be free. You remember what the Bible said? Jesus said, cast all thy cares upon God, upon him, upon Jesus, because Jesus cared for you. He said, take my yoke. My yoke is very light. Bring your burden on me and let me now carry it for you. And then take my own because my own is very, very light. So I decide that all the pressure, pressure from anywhere, pressure from here, pressure from there, pressure from all over the place must be on Jesus. So that I can freely live my life as a human being. I know my limit. I will not play my role and play the role of God. God has his role to play in your life. Some people will say, oh, God said I will succeed. God said I will prosper. God said I will make it. I have not seen it. I need to work hard. I need to do something. Yes, working hard is not bad. But don't let that pressure to come on your head. When the pressure is on your head, that pressure is likely to break you down. Many people are broken down today because they have allowed the pressure that's supposed to be on Christ or on God Almighty to be on them. And that is where their problem have come in such a way that they are crying on daily basis, God deliver me, God deliver me. And it seems God is not hearing their prayers. God is hearing their prayers. But they have not taken the right step. Confession of your mouth matters a lot. Amen. Because that which is always in your thought shapes your body. If you think failure, all your body will begin to fail. The way you take a step, we fail. The way you talk, we fail. The way you reason, we fail. The way you behave, we fail. Because you are thinking failure. The Bible says, out of the abundance of your heart, that the, the mouth begins to speak. Your mouth is speaking to what your heart has conceived. If you see yourself that you are a prince, you see yourself that you are a winner, you see yourself that you are a powerful person, you see yourself that you are on the top, then those things begin to shape your world. If you look at yourself, I'm sick, oh, <laughs> I'm waiting for injection. Let them come and give me injection. And then you are moving, mete, mete, minya, minya, mete. You will remain mete, mete, and minya, minya. Amen. I said amen. You are not hearing me. If you now look at yourself, oh, I'm looking for who will help me. Nobody to, I don't have a brother. I don't have a sister. The major prophet did not give me money. This one, did. then you'll be waiting for major prophet. you make mistake. You waste all your time. Your brother you're waiting for, you waste all your time. But when you hear this word and the book of the law and the command of God and you take it and you say, this is what God has said to me. And I am believing God for that. As I'm moving out today, what God has said will surely come to pass. You summon that courage, you move on. Then you will see yourself. That thing which you are looking for, God will work it out even before you get there. You will see it accomplished for you. May the Lord accomplish his plans in your life. I said, Jesus accomplished his plans in your life. In the name of Jesus. He said, this book of the law must not depart out of thy mouth. For therein you shall make thy way prosperous and then thou shall have good success. The confession of the word of God, the trust in the word of God, the belief in the word of God is what brings all the success. And that is why people will think that you have done juju. There are certain things that when your faith carries you and you are doing it, ordinary people cannot do it. They will begin to gossip. Ah, that man, that juju man. That person is a money doubler. Hey, how did he do this? How did he do that? 
they will never know how you did what you did. They will be confused. They will be thinking. They will be worried. And as they are getting worried, you are moving forward. As they are getting worried, you are moving to the other side. And before they will know it, you have gotten to where you are going. May the Lord help you to get to where you are going in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now another role that we must not forget about is the role of grace in everything that we are doing. There are levels that you as a human being, your strength gets to. And there are levels that grace takes you to. You see, you may come from a family that is an unknown family, unknown family. You may be an individual or a person that nobody cares about. You are nobody. But grace can make the world to look for you. All the prophecy I give them right there in the United States of America is what is happening to them now. Amen? The one I give to Nigeria is what is happening to Nigeria even now. And the one I told them that is coming, I already said, about to hit the door. Amen? But I am not minister of information. I am not the, 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 the whatever, whatever in any level in the government. But I am just the minister of the gospel and the prophet of the most high God. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I know what God has given to me. And I'm standing on that position to declare. Because it is God that has given it to me. And I am using it with all boldness. I'm not afraid of anything or looking at, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. I say what God asks me to say at all time. There's no time I will say, uh, uh, let me, as far as God has spoken, I will speak the way God has spoken. I will not add salt or add water or reduce salt or reduce water. The way God put it is the way it must go out there. Hallelujah. And so that is what the Bible means by what it says. This book of law will not get out of the mouth. And then you begin to look at the grace he has given to you and operate within the confines of the grace. Allow the grace to speak for you. Don't look at people and envy them. Oh, that man is doing like this. Let me do like that. The other one is like this. Focus on what God has instructed in your life and follow the grace that God has given to you. And before you know it, you will surely take over this land in the name of Jesus. You will surely get to your promised land in the name of Jesus. And so God and what God wants from us is the courage. If you lack that courage, you have lacked it all. That's why he sounded it in verse 7 to Joshua. He said, only be thou strong and very courageous. A courageous person will succeed greatly in life. But one that is not courage, courageous will only see temptation or see trial or see challenges. He will give up. He will backslide. He will run away. He will say, I better go if and like this. I know go, I better go make a day. Ah, I know. I know if too. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. May the Lord accomplish his plans in your life. The Lord accomplish his plans in your life. The Lord accomplish his plans in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so when we are courageous, definitely, no matter the challenge, no matter the attacks, no matter what the devil is doing, no matter what comes on our way, victory is always our portion. And uh, because of the courage of Joshua, because of the determination of Joshua, to maintain the book of the law that God has given to him, the instructions, the word of God that God has spoken to him, to hold on to what God has said. Joshua was able to go and take the people to the promised land and they all possess the land. Amen. Even when difficulties, tough situations arose, situations like River Jordan, River Jordan, remember in the time of Moses, Moses performed the miracle and they were able to cross the Red Sea. But this time around is now River Jordan. 
another test to test the faith of Joshua. Amen. But what happened? Joshua received the instruction. God said, look at what will be done. Look at what will be done. This is the way that it will be done. This is this. And Joshua followed exactly what God had said. He said, let the people that are bearing the ark march into the water first. And as the people step in the sole of their feet right on the water, River Jordan parted into two and they walked on dry ground. They get to that place. God said, okay, the instruction now is that you people are going to march around the city for seven times. And seven days, the wall of Jericho will fall and you people will enter into it. If you are not courageous, you will say, I beg, God, this one now, wow. Now, wow, how this building go for? Look at how this, how this. You will reason with human mind and human thought. There are many things in life that seems very impossible that are very, very possible with God. There are a lot of things in life that seems very uh, uh, unapproachable, but with God, it is very, very approachable. There are things that you see in life, they are so threatening, but with God, they are the minorest things. That's why Jesus said, with God, it is possible. With men, it is uh, impossible. Because man will look at it and say, how, go, how, how water will enter coconut? This coconut, water is not inside. But God said, there's water inside. You say, how the water? No hole now. If you carry coconut and throw it inside the water, the water will not enter into it. How did the water enter inside? It entered. It's best known to God. <laughs> there are mysteries of life that God alone knows. I pray for you that from now on, God will now give you that courage in the name of Jesus.